Hey there, everyone, this is Aokao, and it's December 11th. We are approaching the official advent, which is going to start on the 13th. But until then, today we got four peeps who popped up. Well, four peeps. I think there might be multiple per peep. I don't know. Well, we got four pending gifts. I just love the detail. Yesterday there wasn't any, but I had two boxes to kind of and a letter to read about. It just kind of fit so nicely. But we got four pending gifts. Hey, Agent Tough Jew slash MJ Vimes. Uh, well, hello there. Description. I know that game kind. It's like that, like card, like single player game, right? Something like that, with like a thing going on. I am very descriptive. <laughs> Do not be afraid. Ow, cow! Hi! Thanks for giving something to watch most nights. <laughs> not all, most. Since all the way back 2007, when I was still in college. Here's a cool weird game for a cool weird perso. Right <laughs> now, character. <laughs> I don't know what you mean by perso! Oh no! <laughs> Uh, <laughs> thank you, Tough Juice. Uh, description is inky black card based Odyssey that blends the deck building roguelike escape. That, okay, that blends the deck building roguelike escape room style puzzles and psychological horror into a blood laced smoothie. Huh? Okay. Alright. Well, watch out, we might have a spooky trailer. Oh, it's by Devolver. I feel like that's none too surprising. All right, GameSpot trailers. Trail me up. Pony Island. Uh, I don't know what these are. Hey, I just read those descriptors. Yeah, okay, yeah, it is a game I thought it was. Like, that is such a cool vibe. That's such a cool look. And yeah, like, you got, like, your single-player cards, you got, like, enemy encounters, you just throw a bear at problems. Well, that is really rad, though. Like, I, I, what I knew was pretty surface level. This looks a lot more involved than I thought. What's going on with that? Sit back down, idiot. We gotta play cards. Uh, That's an angry deer. Man, that's not distracting at all, having that stupid phases pop up in a corner of the screen and the giant G. I hate those. I hate those end stickers. Like, it got me out of the trailer entirely and fully. It's like, okay, cool. Great, you ruined it. And it's too bad. Like, that looks super cool. That does heck lick heckin' while but yeah it's a game i knew a little bit about by which i mean way less than what the trailer showed me <laughs> thank you thank you once again library added oh tough juice has another one too oh ah. <laughs> that's so good oh you got to finish the sentence it's person I'm a cool, weird person. Okay, now it makes sense. What the golf? A silly physics-based golf parody where every golf course is a new surprising type of golf, some brilliant or hilarious. Others so absurd you will ask yourself, what the golf? I don't think anyone WTGs out there IRL, but hey, you never know. What the golf? Epic Games. Well, it's on Steam anyway, so I guess it doesn't matter. Oh, that's silly. Oh, that- okay. Immediately just- <laughs> I feel like I've seen enough. I feel like I don't want to see more. Okay, so like, they get- they get really- okay. I feel like... The blurb sort of downplays what is happening here. Because, okay, because no, yeah, like, like just... This is like video games. Oh, this looks fantastic. Space! It had multiple A's. Little guy! 
Yeah, I need to, like, forget all this. I'm pretty good at forgetting, so, like, I don't mind. Uh, I am really good at forgetting trailers and whatnot. Oh, uh, this is a super hot reference. See, don't you want to... Don't you want to... I feel like these are surprise... Like, okay. Is this a trailer that's just kind of revealing everything? Or is this still, nonetheless, a mere fraction of what there is to find in the game? Like, 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 that's the question, you know, I kind of have to ask myself because, wow, that went places in a way that I did not imagine. That looks really fun. Looks really silly. Okay. Perhaps not shockingly, way into what I just saw. That looked really cool. Wet the golf. That got my attention. That looked really good. Thank you. Fractalion! Uh, he sent this, uh, earlier today. Oh, cow ambush! This is the most creative game I've played in a long time, and I felt compelled to share it with you. Uh, RPG Time, The Legend of Right. Then there's a, uh, it probably says that in Japanese. It's time for an adventure. Once classes are over, RPG Time begins. Game Master Kanta's Notebook holds a handwritten RPG made just for you. Mm, mm, mm. Is that so? Why am I cutting? I don't know. Sometimes it just feels it's the best to cut between reading and being on the YouTube page. There's not really much of a reason. I'm just cop and face the name. And more often than not, we got exactly what we want. Uh, announcement, teaser, launch. Oh, but launch is not as long. Let's do it with announcement, I guess. You know, you gotta choose your... Choose choose your trailer carefully. I mean, this is a look. This summer, immediately. On a fully handmade adventure. Handmade, huh? A new yet nostalgic gaming experience awaits you. Come oh, this on, is, this it's is, time for adventure. Yeah, this is the Nintendo narrator that I RPG I don't know if I care much for. The visuals in the notebook spring to life. Well, that looks amazing, though. An indie game that astonished the world with its incredible craftsmanship is now available on Nintendo Yeah, Switch. no kidding. The game is bursting with the imagination of a young boy Idiot. Kenta, who dreams of becoming a game creator. No, that looks right, absolutely fantastic. From the clutches of the Demon King and restore <laughs> peace to the world. That was the pretty creative how that was done. The screen interface of the Nintendo Switch. Wow. A notebook adventure that Almost like the game was enjoy. made for a mouse once upon a time. Set out on a fantastic adventure alongside Kenta. Ah, I feel all the they're, they're they're showing too much. Once I saw that little like toy car thing going on here, I was like, no! Stop showing! No more! Anaplex, really? No more! That's enough! I've seen enough! See, that's the thing, like, 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 you, t you give me the blurb here, and I'm like, okay, I kind of get it. But then you see the trailer, it's like, oh, I did not get it. This is so much more. And then they just get to show a little too much. I'm like, no, okay, I gotta start the process of eliminating from memory. It's fine, it's fine, I'm used to it, but okay, okay. I don't think I've ever heard of this before. That looks so good. And I own it. Thank you, Fractalion. Like, definitely, that looks super rad. Today is the game super rad. And things on tables. And one more for today. Earlier this morning from Amya. Kalao, seeing that talisman thing pop up in each of the ambush videos, maybe I never got you the prequel. Uh-oh, fix that, uh, Dirch. Oh, you're not Amya. Okay, I will try to remember that. Thank you, Amya. Talisman Origins. The new adaption of Talisman board game focuses on solo players' adventure through many epic quests using the full the full rule set of revised 4th edition. Wait, what? Like, actual 4th edition? Wait, but probably Talisman? Like, it's a, it's a, it's a port of the board game? I'm guessing? Sure. No Nomad Games and Games Workshop, they're like, yo, check it out. Well, I'm checking. <laughs> Talisman, yeah, like, that's kind of like a board. Talisman, a brand new one, there's a wizard. Heroic Quest, yeah, there's a wyvern. Wyvern? 
That did not tell me anything. <laughs> that really didn't. Uh, this is a trailer made for people who know exactly what this is about, right? The uh, launch trailer might tell us a little bit, but that's digital edition. Well, I want origin. No, yeah, that, that won't work. It's not the same thing. But I think that's all that exists. Is the trailer that exists is made for people who know exactly what they're getting themselves into. All right, but fair enough. Imagine you and five of your best friend are fantasy heroes of great renown. Yeah, 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 yeah. So like, it's a board game. But this one is specifically for solo play. And uh, you're not playing on a board. You're playing on a PCB. Well, not really. You're not playing on it. You're playing through it. Like, it goes through the computer. It's not on it. My, my, my weak attempt at linking things together didn't make any sense. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Amya. Ah, thank you, everyone. Okay. I mean, you know, some people... You know, they have the look like it's like, ah, oh, this is just watching trailers, so, you know. Like, I get it, but I don't know. I feel like these are great opportunities to discover games because more important than, more, more often than not, they're games that I've somehow just never really heard of. And then I get to see them, and it, every time it's like a wow moment, right? I mean, I like I'm not faking it or anything. I mean, I don't, I don't think I am. There is proof that when you know you're being recorded, your behavior is will you will modify it whether you want to or not. We're, we're we do that. Humans do that. But um, I mean, nothing is fake though. But no, yeah, like like, like there's some like just. Fantastic games. I just do not recall. Wild. It's wild how many fantastic games exist out there. It's a little sad. Uh, you know, it's unlikely that anyone is ever going to be able to play them all. Like, that's just the reality of it. But, uh... Oh, yeah. It's this here. That's what inspired... Yeah, okay. Now it makes sense. Now it all makes sense. Everything makes sense.